Today we're gonna make this super delicious, super easy. Yes, Lulu, you're gonna get some. Super delicious Clafuti with champagne grapes. They're so good. They burst with flavor when you bite into it and oh, so yummy. All right, you wanna see how we make it? Just keep watching. Um. So for this recipe, we're gonna use champagne grapes. You might have seen these in your local grocery store. They're so cute, they're so tiny, as you can see. They're tiny, but they're so juicy, they just pop with flavor. Mmm, with a nice tart skin. Um, little known facts, maybe not so little, <laughs> but champagne grapes are not the grapes used to make champagne. Those are a mixture of uh, Chardonnay and Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc, yada yada. Um, but these are also known as black Corinth grapes. Um, and these, when they're dried, they're currants. Who knew? I know I didn't, and I was kind of surprised. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wash these, and then we're gonna carefully remove them from the stems. And that's gonna take a while, because we need about, about two cups of these. It's almost this whole container uh, for our recipe. All right, so I'm gonna start separating. It's probably gonna take about three hours. <laughs> Not that long. All right, so once you got them all separated, we're ready for the rest of the recipe. Aren't they cute? Oh, I got a stem. <laughs> um, the one thing about these two, the reason why they're called champagne grapes, big important thing I forgot to mention, because they look like the bubbles of champagne, right? So cute. They're gonna be perfect for this recipe. You're gonna bite into it, because grapes don't really cook when you cook them or bake them. So you're just gonna get these random pops of juice and flavor. Amazing. All right, so for the batter, you're gonna, in a large bowl, you're gonna add one and a half cups of heavy cream, four eggs, they're in there, see? They're in there, I swear. <laughs> Zest of one lemon, or just about a teaspoon, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of dark rum, and then four tablespoons of melted salted butter. All right, you wanna make sure that's cool though before you add that to the mix. If not, it's gonna cook the eggs. You don't want that. All right, and if you wanna use unsalted butter, you could do that too, um, but then you're gonna wanna add half a teaspoon of salt, all right? So now we're gonna mix this together so that all the eggs are broken down, all right? And then, next you're gonna add one cup of flour, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup, it was there, I swear, <laughs> of packed brown sugar, along with one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Now we're gonna mix this all up so you have no lumps. See, if we're, there's that brown sugar I was telling you about. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna mix this up nice, nice. Once you got your batter all mixed up, see, no lumps, nice, nice. You're gonna thoroughly spray your um, pie plates with a non-stick cooking spray. And you're gonna add about two to two and a half cups of these champagne grapes. All right, just enough to cover the bottom and then some. All right, so how cute are these things? Don't they look like those Orbeez things? Like those little water gel? <laughs> All right, so we got the bottom covered. All right, so now we're gonna pour the batter right on top. Some will float, most will stay on the bottom. It's okay, all right, none of them decided to float. They're making me into a liar. <sighs> See, these grapes were influenced by Lulu. <laughs> Trying to make me look bad. <laughs> all right, so we got this all in here. So now we're gonna place this into a preheated 375 degree oven for about like about 40, 45 minutes, maybe a little less. You want a nice little golden brown topping. You can see it's gonna poof up a lot. Um, and then, but before, like when it's about five minutes before it's done, we're gonna to top it with a little bit more sugar just to make it a little nice little crust. All right, so into the oven it's gonna go. All right, we're still waiting for the oven to preheat, you know, <laughs> oops. <laughs> so I decided to throw about another half cup of the grapes on top because I really want to see them on top when it's baking, so. And it looks really cute. Think of the presentation, that's what's most important. All right, so the oven's just about ready, so now it's gonna go in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes. On a total unrelated note, doesn't this look like bubble tea? Like the boba? <laughs> I should call this a boba kaflutie. Hmm. All right, now back, now it's going in the oven. 
<laughs> All right, so exactly 35 minutes later, the Clafluti's done. Look at it, beautiful, nice and firm. It's not jiggly. Oh, it came out so nice, it smells so good. All right, but the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle about a quarter cup of sugar right on top. We wanna brulee the top of this. So if you have one of those little torches, perfect. If not, you're gonna to wanna to switch your oven from bake to broil, and then, you know, a few inches away from the broiler, you're gonna put this for only a couple minutes. You're gonna to wanna to turn it a couple times just till the sugar is all nice and brulee. So once you start smelling some burnt sugar, it's ready. <laughs> all right, this will all be absorbed eventually. Um, but you wanna let this cool fully. This is a dessert you wanna serve at room temperature or even cold. Um, so we're gonna give this a couple hours to cool. All right, but oh, it's gonna be so good. And can we still see the bubbles on the side? Yep, there they are. <laughs> Fun. All right, so we've allowed this to cool. Garnish with a little powdered sugar, some whipped cream, a couple more of those little grapes because they really, they're really so cute. All right, so moment of truth, we're gonna give it a try. We actually also serve this upside down because the grapes all decide to stay on the bottom. So we want to make sure that you see them. All right, and moment of truth, we're gonna give it a try. Nice. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. Those grapes really are just popping in my mouth. They're so good. Not overly sweet. Almost has a caramel action going on, but you get the citrus. The egg is just so creamy and dense. Oh, it's so good. It's such a great summer dessert. Um, great for brunch, great for any time. All right, so if you make this recipe, let us know. Thanks for watching. All right, Lulu, now you can have your piece. Now everybody knows how to make it, so you can have some. Yes, I, I'm gonna get it for you. I'm gonna get it, okay? Good girl. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks!